Hey guys, Kevin here. Today I'd like to show you how I clean my kitchen. Now, if you'd like to clean your kitchen in the same manner that I do, and that is without any paper towels, you'll need to get yourself a whole lot of terry cloths. You can buy a pack of 12 terry cloths for about $5 at any big box hardware store. Terry cloths are great because after you've used them, you can toss them in the washing machine. First up, clear the decks. That is, take everything off the countertops. Cluttered countertops are a nightmare to clean. Then fill the kitchen sink about half full with hot soapy water. I keep my dishwashing liquid right up here where it's convenient. Then remove the stovetop grates burner plates and knobs and throw all of these in the sink to soak. Then move on to the microwave oven. Here I follow the manufacturer's instructions and I take a cup of water and some dishwashing liquid. This is Dawn, just a squirt, and put this in the microwave until it boils. That will take about three minutes. And while the water boils, or as it comes to a boil, the soapy steam will release a lot of the dirt and crud in the microwave. Okay, let's have a look. Yep, nice and steamy in here. Here's the sudsy water. So remove the glass trivet, or the, rather the glass turntable and the trivet, and we're going to Wipe these down. Where's the camera? Wipe these down. The soapy steam does a great job of like pre-cleaning everything. Sorry, I'm out of view. Wipe the trivet and then wipe down the inside of the microwave. Be sure to get the top and the door. And then rinse it with another clean damp terry cloth. Be sure to clean the front of the microwave too. And I'll show you how to polish the stainless steel sides in just a little bit. Then on to the cabinets. I always start with the upper bank and finish with the lower bank of cabinets. And to clean these painted doors, I simply dip a terry cloth in hot soapy water, and then I rinse with another clean terry cloth. Now, if your cabinets are greasy, and my cabinets over the cooktop are certainly greasy, then take a tip from me and dip one of the terry cloths in the hot soapy water, and then pop it in the microwave for exactly 30 seconds. And while the cloth is heating, definitely put on some rubber gloves because that cloth is going to be too hot to handle with bare hands. Yeah, this hot cloth is melting all of the grease from this painted cabinet. It's like I don't have to apply hardly any pressure at all. All I have to do after washing the cabinet is rinse it with another clean, damp terry cloth. Might as well clean the top of the microwave while I'm up here. Okay, on to the cooktop. And here again, I'm using a terry cloth that I heated in the microwave just for 30 seconds. A hot cloth takes a lot of the labor out of cleaning. Afterwards, I will rinse this with another clean cloth. Do the same terry cloth trick for the oven, for the dishwasher, and the top, the sides, and the front of the refrigerator. Now, onto the countertops. My counters are silestone quartz, so they are extremely easy to clean. Quartz is non porous. If you have granite countertops, 
do not use vinegar on them. I've seen a lot of videos where people were spraying vinegar onto granite and what happens is vinegar actually dissolves the sealant on the granite. Oh, I'm cleaning the backsplash too. Well, actually, I don't have a proper backsplash because when we did this kitchen, I couldn't decide on the right cer ceramic tiles. For so my contractor just painted the backsplash area with a really heavy duty, durable paint. It cleans very easily. I like to put a polish on all of my stainless steel appliances. And for this, I use Wyman's stainless steel cleaner and polish. You can find this in any supermarket and it's really great stuff. I was skeptical about it at first, but it really does work. And what you do is instead of spraying directly on the appliance, let me find the knob here. You spray it on the cloth, a clean, dry terry cloth, and then rub it on and always rub in the direction of the grain. And then you'll notice that the polish leaves a cloudy film. So what you do is take another dry terry cloth or microfiber cloth and then buff, look at that, buff it to a really nice shine. And I'm going to do this for all of my stainless steel accoutrement. Now remember the iron grates and plates and the knobs from the stovetop were soaking in the sink. We can rinse those now and dry them and return them to their proper positions. Ta-da! Now onto the sink. And I've found that no matter how gunky the sink might become, it will always clean very easily with just a sprinkling of common baking soda and one of these non-scratch, well, let me show you the package. Uh, they're called uh, Scotch-Brite non-scratch scrub spud sponges. Again, you can find these in any supermarket. And I have to use this kind of sponge on my sink because it's stainless steel and anything like an SOS soap pad would just scratch the heck out of it. Here we go. We're going to clean the bottom and the sides. Hi. We're also going to clean the faucet and then I'm going to show you how to disinfect the sink. Be sure to thoroughly clean the drain stopper as well. Then rinse everything. And for this, I love having one of these removable spray nozzles. You cannot disinfect a sink if, it, if there's any organic matter in there. So make sure not a crumb remains. And by the way, I reserve this sponge strictly for cleaning the sink. Then add two or three inches of cool water to the sink and then grab some liquid bleach, just normal household bleach like this Clorox. Clorox is an infinitely better disinfectant than vinegar. Vinegar only cleans about 80% of germs, whereas liquid bleach cleans 99% of germs. And I probably have, oh, two gallons of water in here. So I'm going to add about, oh, a half cup of bleach. And then take one of your terry claws, dip it in the bleachy water and use it to clean, actually just to saturate the sides of the sink. Bleach is not a good cleaner, by the way. It's just a great disinfectant. Also use the bleach dipped cloth to clean the faucet and its handle. 
and then we're going to let this sit for five minutes. Then pull the drain and let the sink air dry. Well, my kitchen is certainly clean now and I didn't use a single paper towel. I hope you found this video useful in some tiny way and I hope if you like the video that you will give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe and I will see you next time very soon. Bye for now.